Hey everybody, it's Marty from OwingsArt.com. That's O-W-I-N-G-S-A-R-T.com. And it's Memorial Day weekend. Um, I thought I'd share some uh, tips and tricks or just at least my sketching technique and then a little bit about uh, the Copic markers. Um, so if you see sketchbook artists, sometimes they'll be using markers. Um, some of them use like a Faber-Castell or a Prismacolor or there's just all kinds of different marker manufacturers out there. But probably the best markers you can find uh, in terms of kind of sketch art and just if you do a manga or any kind of comic book art are these markers right here. These are the Copic markers made by the Two Company um, from Japan. And each one of these markers is made in Japan. And they're, they're just really, really good solid markers. So I picked up a set. This happens to be the 24 pack. It comes with, actually it comes with 23 markers and one colorless blender. So you get uh, all these colors. I'll tilt that up so you can see. Uh, which is, it's considerable. Um, but this is the basic set. So what doesn't come in the basic set um, are roughly the other, the rest of the pen set. And I think there's 72 total. So um, you're getting about a third of the markers in the Copic line right here. And then I think you can buy extra ones as well. So I did that. I picked up extra markers because I like landscape colors and the different cool grays. And so I picked up a few extras. Now, these aren't cheap. This right here is $125 at Dick Blick, at probably the cheapest. That's $24. All the way up to the 72 uh, marker set, which is somewhere around, um, I think, $380. Uh, if you get it on sale and use a coupon, maybe uh, you can get a good deal on that. But uh, So here's the deal, right? Um, these, come in, uh, these come in singles, right? You can get a single marker. That's about six dollars and seventy-five cents. Or you can buy like they come in like six packs, the little six packs. But maybe they won't have the colors that exactly that you want. But they do have a great variety of them. So if you want all grays, you can get all grays. Or if you want just the basic colors, you can get those. Um, so I encourage you to look that up. Um, then they come in like a 24 pack, like this right here. And this was about, like I said, 125 bucks. I got this one on eBay for 115 free shipping or very low cost shipping, $2 or something like that. Um, so look for those deals. And then you can get a 36. And then I believe then the next one up is the 72. So 72 marker set again is going to be very expensive. All of them are, are they're not cheap. But what you can do with them is pretty spectacular. So comic book artists, sketch artists, others use these markers. And um, it's considered pretty much fine art. So um, <clears throat> so let me show you a little bit uh, about a little bit more about these uh, topic markers. So when you get a marker and you pull it out of that box, you'll notice it has two caps on either end. Okay, this cap, uh, this end has a gray line around it. This end does not. The gray line end is, I believe, the paint brush end, right? So this is more like a, it'll act like a paint brush. Uh, and the other end is the chisel marker end. So I'll flip this over, pull this off, and you can see it looks like a standard, like a Sharpie, or not a Sharpie, but a chiseled marker you might find. Um, and both of them serve a different purpose. So uh, but the, the one I find that I use the most is the gray end, which is the paintbrush end. And I'll show you that in a second. Now, so I took each one of these markers out of this set. I pulled it out and tested each one of the colors. So I'll show you that in my sketchbook right now. So what I do with, like, same with I, I do with my pencils is I pull out um, each one of the colors, and then I just put some uh, marks down on the, oops, get out of the way of that, uh, that chrome orange there. But I put each one of the markers to the test, just draw some lines, and then see what kind of uh, pigment comes out or how bright the colors are. And these aren't bad at all. Um, again, uh, you get the 23 markers plus the one colorless blender. Um, made in Japan, eBay 115, free shipping. You can go to Blick for 125, or you can buy each marker individually. Um, let me move out of the way here. Find more at 2.com, front slash Copic. Now, those are the ones that came in the set. Here are the ones that I bought 
um, a few extras up just so I'd have them. So um, if you want to use that colorless blender, um, look online because there's lots of YouTubes on how to use that thing. I'm not an expert by any means, but I did do some blending with it. And um, that's basically, uh, you can see here some blending, um, here's some a little bit of blending, but I don't think I'm using them exactly right the way they're supposed to be. Um, but check out YouTube. I plan to do more of that. Um, but I'll show you some sketches I did, and I'll show you what, what I do to use them, and I'll give you some tips on uh, how to sketch better. Um, so here's a boat I did um, with the markers. It's, it's okay. It's not great. And it's not terrible, but it's, it, it's good enough. Um, and then I'll show you. I did these trees. This was just a quick sketch up. What I actually found was I liked the way that the trees... Uh, this drawing bled through onto the next onto the page behind it. So if you flip this over, turn that around, I actually like that drawing better than the original because uh, less is more here. So you can see I did some ink work on the tree trunks and the bark and stuff. So it, it's kind of cool. Um, but what I mostly use uh, these markers for, at least what I've started on, is just take a um, a cool gray for instance there's a cool gray okay C1 cool gray one and um, here's a landscape uh, 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 a cityscape out of my sketchbook so what I did here was everywhere you see kind of the the shading on the buildings here that's this cool gray marker now you can do that with a number two pencil like right here or right here on the face you could do that with a number two pencil but these work great as well so um, I've been using it for that here's some more here's another example of where I used um, this is actually an example of a of a graphite wash so the shading on the side here that's all graphite wash um, just look that up Faber Castell you can find it but yeah that worked out pretty good but I could just as easily have used this Copic cool gray for that um, I'm just going to show you one more example. So the shadowing in here and along the side of the statues, right here on the edges, that's all done with this cool gray or some other uh, shade of gray. So yeah, that's that's what I use. And so people want to know, okay, okay, what kind of sketchbook do you use? What technique do you use? Okay, so let me show you that. So I start with this. This is the famous Faber-Castell 9400 lead holder. Why isn't it a mechanical pencil? Well, it actually just holds a lead. So if you press the end here, right here, if you push that end, the lead drops out. It's just a lead holder. It holds the leads. And then you sharpen it in a special, special sharpener that looks like a little Dixie cup put it in there and spin it around and it sharpens. I have another video on that, by the way. So I do all my preliminary sketching with this Faber-Castell lead holder. But you could use any. You could use an Alvin or something else if you want. Or you can just use a number two pencil. I just happen to prefer this feel. It's got a good, a good perfect weight and it's precision made. Then I use what's called a multi-liner pen made by the same company, Copic. There's two different multi-liners. This happens to be a five. Well, I've got an SP here. That's a, a brush. Hang on. I actually have three. So I've got the brush on top. Then I've got like this seven millimeter here. And then I've got this five millimeter right here. So I use these. Mostly I use the five. So I take the 5 and then I go over my pencil work with the 5 millimeter Copic. Then I come back over that and use like the colored Copic colored markers. So you do, you start with your pencil work, then your ink work, and then your color. Uh, maybe there's artists that do it in a different order than that and sure, welcome to try that. But I, uh, I found the best results when I, when I do it that way. Um, all right, well, thanks for checking out the video today. Uh, again, happy Memorial Day. Hope you find some time to draw today. And this has been a look at the Copic 
uh, markers and just some sketch tips. Uh, don't forget to check us out at owingsart.com. That's O-W-I-N-G-S-A-R-T.com. I'm Marty. Thanks for watching.